So welcome guys, welcome to our new house. It's so quiet here. Welcome to our new home. Good morning guys, this is this mug I've got it yesterday and it's really nice. It got a nice tuk-tuk on it. So this is the condo that we are living almost for three years and it's really nice. It's a quiet place, you have lots of public space, a gym, a pool, almost everything you need. The only problem is that the condo is too small and that's typical because most of the condos in Bangkok are like this. This space if you are staying next to the BTS and in the middle of the action. And another thing that we are staying in one of the busiest, craziest soy in Bangkok. It's too crowded, too noisy, although you have lots of street food options, but there are no sidewalks to walk. Hello. Okay guys, are you excited to see our new house? Let's go and check it. Actually, the first positive point about our new house is that even if you don't have a car, it's near the public transportation. The new yellow line. A nice comfortable ride from Sukhumvit to our station, only 15 minutes and 38 baht. Along the way, guys, you have lots of malls and markets next to our new house, just a walking distance. The area is called Sirinakarin Bangna. Well, this is not our new house. This is Sikon Square, one of the biggest malls in the area, not so far from our house. We're gonna check some air conditioning and check the prices and maybe if it's good, we're gonna order before we go and check the house. So here we are. This is the main entrance of the townhouse. You have security 24 over 7 and our house is located almost at the end of the community. Alright guys, welcome. So what do you think? The first impression. Yes, it's so quiet. Totally different from Sukhumvit. Now let me give you a tour in the house. Later I'm gonna show you the facilities in this townhouse, the community, the gym, the swimming pool and more. So this is it guys, this is the front yard of the house. And we will do a ceiling like you see here. And of course the ground tiles. You can park two cars inside, even park in front. For me no problem, I can park my scooter anywhere. Anyway, we will see once the ceiling and the floor is done. Here you have a storage place, it can be so useful. Welcome guys to the living room. Sorry, it's empty. We cannot sit and have a drink. Maybe another time. So my plans. Here a sofa, maybe a bed sofa. At the opposite side, the TV, the console, a big TV. What do you think with a sound system? Yeah, this is one of the small details in a condo. Forget TV, sound system, music. You can't. Here you can. This place can be for dining table. And the opposite side, some nice display for drinks and so on. All in all, big space. I forgot to tell you that the house is 120 meters square. We will talk about the price later. Now here you have a small toilet with a shower. And that's amazing. I tell you why later. So where is the kitchen? There is no kitchen. We have to build it. Already talked with the engineer and we will let you know about the progress later good space. You see how my neighbor is already set up. So that's the water tank and the electrical pump. Finally, we will have our kitchen that we can cook. Another issue in our condo. So what do you think guys? Let me know all your ideas if you like to suggest what to do more in the kitchen. This is the first time I'm staying in a house with two floors. What are the advantages and disadvantages? We can talk about them once we live here. So once you are up, you have another toilet. Let's say the master toilet, bigger, again with a shower. 
Finally guys, when this toilet is occupied, I can use the other one downstairs. That's really important. This is the master bedroom. A big space, sure with a very big bed and big closet. That's another issue at the condo. Sometimes I cannot find my t-shirts. You know what I mean. At the opposite side, we can put another closet, a makeup space. We'll see later. Maybe a TV too. What do you think? Do you like TVs in the bedroom? Nice windows, too much light, the curtains are already ordered. I'm gonna show you all the setups once ready. And why not to share with you about the prices? So if you want to know the details, maybe in the coming vlogs. Now before we show the most important room at this house, let me show you this room. For now it's an extra room, maybe for guests or private meetings, what do you think? Check the view from here. We paid little bit extra to get this side. We have this view and open space. Cause if we buy the houses at the opposite side, they don't have this option. And trust me it works, cause it's so breezy. Ok guys, this is the most important room of the house, Live Love Thailand office, a creation room, some private space to edit, to voice over, to have some live chats with you, lots of things no one can disturb us. And of course, nice view, open space. By the way, it's not so far from the airport, so we can hear planes from time to time, that's no problem. So guys, I want your opinion. This is it. Where to put the office, the TV, the display and sofa. Till now, these are in my mind. Help me if you can give me some ideas. Next week, we'll go and order the things. Maybe I can share with you another vlog and show you how much it will be or cost the setup for the office of course, Live Love Thailand. Comment and let me know before I buy the stuff. Alright, that was the house. Now let me show you some facilities in this townhouse. Let's have a ride. As you hear and see, so quiet place, day and night, and good for some afternoon walkings too. So let's park our scooter, this scooter by the way is good, here no bumpy rides. This is some public area, kids playground, no pets allowed. And this is the swimming pool, I barely see anyone swimming. And that's the gym. If you do these activities at daytime, I think it will be kind of private. So what do you think? Well my friends, that was today's vlog as you saw. A good space, not like condo. But at the same time there are too much things we have to do. Now it's a mess, they are already installing the air condition and a lot of things to be done, I'm gonna update you, of course, about the prices and all the process so that if you want to come to Thailand and you want to live in a house, then to know how much to pay and what to expect. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.